have anything and you need loads of Southern Gay for Southern For me, so that I can know the last year that I have Southern that is one of the most The gospel teaches that God gave himself for simple men because simple men do not work for their own salvation because, like it says by the words of the Lord, no flesh be justified. It says that anyone who thinks they're going to be justified, that doesn't answer the question. It says they are under a curse. It doesn't matter, I'm just going to preach to you. Jesus loves I, I every single one of you. <laughs> He died for all of you, every single one of you. Know, earlier, and not a single one of you are going to be saved going without his blood. He is justified. He's given you his he's given Where did you hear that? Where did you hear that? I know that. He's done this. He's done it for every single one of you. Now, if you don't accept that, you'll go to hell. You'll perish. Do you understand that? Please. You know, earlier it's you said, serious. Earlier you said you're going to have a dialogue. Now you're going into preaching. No, I am. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not dialogue. I'm preaching. That's what I'm doing. If you want to preach, come. If That's you want to preach, you should go to the church. No, I'm you, you're not going to be saved. Okay, you don't want to have a dialogue. Any other way but by yeah, the blood right. of Jesus Christ. I don't think Christ, you want to have a dialogue. Yeah? And then when you have repented and got on your knees and said, God, I know what I am, I'm a wretch. There's nothing I can do to save myself. Can I ask and I beg you, I beg you, I beg you for forgiveness, yeah? Sure. And you ask me, and you mean it, you know, and you're genuine. If you go into a preaching mode. And you know what he'll do? He'll forgive you. No, I don't think he'll do have a dialogue. He'll forgive you for the Holy Spirit. He'll sanctify you. Where did you hear that? You're set apart. I want to know where you heard that. You're set apart. Can you let me know where you heard that? All of this, all of you are young. Do you want to perish? Do you want to perish? Where did you hear that? Because it's fine, it's fine. I understand your message. It's a good message. Can I ask where you heard that? God. Where? The gospel. Which gospel? God brings that alive. Did you hear it in the KJV or the NIV? No, no, no. I mean, did you hear it in... Yeah, I know. I want to know if this is the truth. You've said a strong message and it's scary. Yeah, it is scary for someone who's listening to it, yeah? We want to know if it's the truth because it's a scary message, okay? Now, where did you hear that? Did you hear it in the KJV, it's NIV? Not okay, no, no. A message that you've no, no, you didn't hear what I said. Uh, let me clarify. Can I clarify? It, but that he's My done dear. something for you. Sister, sister. If you, you want to have a dialogue, we can talk. But yeah. if you want to go in a preaching more, then this is the place. Every yeah. time you try and dialogue with me, I am going to preach. Okay. Yeah. Do you know why? I just heard a dialogue. You said if we don't. Did you say, did you say if we don't listen, we're going to go to hell, yeah? I understand, that's fair. You don't accept. Yes. If you, don't if you don't accept the human sacrifice, you go to hell. If you don't accept Say again, sorry? Done if you don't, she's saying if you don't accept human sacrifice, no, you will go to hell. Where does it say that? What God has done for you. What, what God has Where? done. When God spilled his blood. So who did? God or God spilled his own blood. God. 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 So you think God did Can God die? They need a savior. Mary needs a savior. Can God die? Can God die? Seriously. Where does it? Why do you think that God died? I'll tell you why. God can do so whatever you, you want. So I tell you why. Because if you follow the Bible, the Bible says that God alone is immortal. What does the term immortal mean it's to you? He's talking about, you know that passage that Jesus wrote? Is it? it Unapproachable by again. Yeah, who, who no man has seen. Have people seen Jesus? talking about Jesus. He says no, whom no man has seen. I've not seen God in all his glory. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't say all his glory. You put the words in there. God took on no, 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 no. He took on no, no, no. So He God says God he alone is immortal. What does the term immortal yeah. mean? So what does it get from um, one verse, sorry, John 1 verse, in Hebrews, where it says that Jesus is an uncreated name for immortal? I'm not going to answer my question. Well, well, I'm answering your question. I'm answering your question by saying that if God alone is immortal, and we see in the scripture that Jesus Christ has no beginning, he created immortal. I asked you what's the meaning of immortal. Yes, again, another side. I, I asked you what's the meaning of immortal. Jesus has the You're explaining to me what is eternal. Two different meanings of, sorry, two different words having two different meanings. What does the word immortal mean, not eternal? Yeah, to live forever. Yeah. Immortal is, that is eternal. That's why I'm saying you're confused between the two different terminologies. The word immortal means someone who's not subject to death. Does that apply to Jesus? He overcame death. No, but did he, he die? subject to death. Did he You've die? got to remember that his weakest point when Jesus is on the cross. Did he die or not? He overcame death. But did he die? Yeah, he died. So, he's, oh, so he is and not he immortal. Over, he overcame death. He Looks like you don't know the meaning of immortal. He showed that. I don't think you know the meaning of immortal and you're, you're, you're some, you're somehow in denial of the meaning and also what Jesus did on the cross. If you're saying that he was not crucified at all, then yes, you can say he's immortal. But if you're saying that he was crucified by his own friend, his own Christian killed him for three days and then he is not immortal. He overcame death. I think that you'll find Look, that overcoming that. death, overcoming death implies he died at some point, right? Are you with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overcoming death, overcoming death means you resurrected. And resurrected only applies to mortals. So Jesus was mortal, not in 
immortal. Like, he means how can he be immortal? In his grave, then that would have been evidence. No, he's innocent. First, 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 no, no, he overcame you're... death, and by overcoming death, he's in denial. You're going to denial mode again. No, no. What was our? What was the punishment? I don't. I don't think you want to have a dialogue if you're going to keep being in denial. Death was our punishment. Yeah. No, that wasn't the punishment. Death is not a punishment. Do you see his point? Death. And because he has overcome, death is not a punishment. It is something which happens to everyone other than God. Death. We were never meant to die. Really? God what? created us. God so you're saying you us. were never meant to die? Adam sinned. Well, Adam sinned means what? Death is the punishment for sin. What is what is death? death is what does that mean now, to you? Now, like I said, Christ okay. overcame death. That was the whole point. But did he because die? By one man's sin. Did he die or not? Did he die for three days or not? He died and overcame Did the Father die? So the Father is God, Jesus is not God. Now listen, Hashim, we both know that you're not that interested in the truth, don't you? Yeah? The truth is what I'm telling you in the I'm Bible. You. I don't, the think, Bible, that's, I don't think that's true. The Bible is saying that God is immortal. Hashim. She's saying, no, Hashim, no he died. Now whom should I believe? The Bible which says that God never dies or should I believe you that God died? Hashim, I'm do, I believe? You, do you want the truth? Like, do you love God? Do you want I think you, I think I think you want to know the truth. I think, yes. I think you are in denial of your own Bible. You don't want to know the truth. The Bible is the only book which demands blood. Repent. Blood. Repent. <laughs> repent from what? Repent for your sin. Uh, no issues repenting. Jesus himself says to repent. Exactly. Come to an understanding of what they are. You go to repent. You go to repent from the human sacrifice you believe in. That is, the pagans commit human sacrifice. That is a false religion, in which God rebuked in the Old Testament. God said that anyone who who, who sacrifices, they are the ones who have been rebuked by God in the Old Testament. They used to sacrifice their sons to Baal in the Old Testament. That is paganism. We've heard all this before. That's paganism. You know, when God gives Himself for us, we accept the gratitude. We thank you. you know, during Eucharist, du during Eucharist, you guys. I mean, obviously, Allah is not a loving Father. The way God is portrayed to you is not as a loving. Of course, He's a loving. God. Can I ask? Can I just Yahweh ask? Like, you, you're giving father. a message. Yes. Yeah? The only about thing we're trying to ask you. Yeah. Now, see, he is interested in truth because what he's asking is where did it look? Overall, he's questioning certain things because he wants to know if it's true or not. That's fair. You gave a message. I understand it. Yeah. Well, personally, yeah. All I'm asking you is, where, how do you know? That it, could you? Okay. Can I ask you something? Could that message be wrong? Yes or no? I mean, no, could that message is not wrong? Definitely not. My, the message. That yes. Yes. The message that. Okay, so then then I, that's listen. She's quite adamant, Hashim, that her message is true. So then we have to ask, what proof do you have of that? So where did you get your message? Where did I get my message? Yes, because if he came to me with a message, I say, where did you get it from? And I'm sh guessing he'll say the Quran, yes. and I'm going to start questioning it. So yeah. I'll ask you, where did you get your message? Okay, so my, the message I believe in is in the gospel. Yeah, but yeah. God's drawn me to that truth in my life because there's a lot that's happened. It would take me all day to see it. Of course. I express that to you. So that's, that's uh, uh, subjective. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's, uh, that's understandable as well. I and if, the message, the gospel, if the message is if the message is in the gospel, then why don't you follow the message of Jesus? Who confirms that the only true God is the Father? That's why it's you are, you are. Does he say that? You're, you're saying, does he say yeah, that? Yeah, you're to, to, to question him, does he say that? Does to question him, does it? Look, you know the Bible better than us. John yeah? 17, 3. There you go. Does he say that? Does he? Yeah, would you say that he says? Yeah. The Father is the true God. So would you follow Jesus' What's message? What's wrong with that? The true message no, of Jesus. I'm not following a, uh, an entity. I'm, I'm following a God that has revealed Himself. Father. Right? Yes. So when Jesus, the says, do the you follow Godhead Jesus or not? With each other, that's been do you follow the message of Jesus? Yes or no? No problem with that. Do you follow the message of Jesus? So if Jesus tells you that the only true God is the Father, do you agree with that? I agree with yeah, I agree with Jesus Christ. So he's the only so the Father so is we, the only true God. Shall we confirm that there is no other true God other than the Father? I, I think so you disagree with our Jesus. Oh. And this is this is what happens when we ask about the gospel. You said, Hashim, you don't want to know the truth. Now I've told you, and and you asked her the question, where do you know this truth if from? If you wanted to know the truth, and what did she say to us from the gospel? And you say, no matter And when we showed her the gospel, now she's rejecting it. If he really cares, but, but are you really rejecting the gospel? He's like, to be fair. I don't really understand this law, but please help me to understand this. Why? Rather than laughing, okay, but that's why he's not. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm saying you. I'm saying when you said the truth is found in the gospel, and when I pointed out the gospel's message of. Jesus, you're saying you don't want to believe. Let's see. Let's see how. Look, I, just know, to I just want to know how she explains that. Jesus sister, said that sister. he gives eternal life. I know. I know. Jesus said that he exists in the Bible. Jesus has all the sister. attributes of sorry, God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You can't. You know, you Jesus said. Unless you've never read. 
Jesus also said, I myself can do nothing. Yeah. 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 Do you believe that? Yeah. How do you Jesus see? You know what he says? Guys, can you Jesus the was in the flesh. You know when you said, that, sister, that, uh, okay, so he's, uh, Hashem is stating that God's in, in the Bible, Jesus says, the Father is the only one true God. Is that right? Yes. Sorry. How do you see that? How do I see that? What was your best? John, John 17, 17 3. 3. Because if Jesus confirms and asserts that the only true God is a father, then I don't think the church or yourself or anybody else has a right to deny the message of the gospel in which Jesus clearly confirmed that the only true God is a father. From where? From verse 1 and 2. You want to read it aloud if you don't mind? That's okay. Sure yeah, okay. And this is life eternal that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth, I have finished the work which thou gave me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Now, listen, God does not give his glory to another. God does not glorify Wait, what's the, what's anyone, the verse you right? said? Sorry, Hashem. So if you're going to read out half yeah, sure. of a quote, sure. fair enough. You can read but if you're going to read context. the rest of it, and you can yeah. see can you that, read the, rest of it? that yeah, the Son is speaking to the Father, saying, I have done what I'm here to do, and now you glorify me with the glory that okay. I had with you before the world well, you began. You... Before the world began, before anyone was created, before anything. But why did you only read that? Why didn't you? Why did I read it? Because you gave me the quote, but I carried on reading. But and you, when I carried on but, reading, but you said that you, said that you yeah. explained in the first verse. Because you went straight to verse 5. Why? No, I didn't. Yeah. Okay, read verse 3. That's okay, you read the rest no, of it. No, I read 3, yeah. What and then mean? I read 4. Did you read all of it? What does 3 mean? What is 3? Sorry, what is 3? 3 means that the only true God is. The only true God is. The only true God is. Now, while the sun was on the earth, then obviously he was saying. Does it say that? I'm explaining this to you. I'm saying she did not. No, but don't put your words in it. No, no, hold on, hold on. I was saying these. What is the verse? What is the verse? You've got to remember. What is the verse? You're the one that. Take this quote out, so now I'm gonna. But now you're just gonna watch it. Can you just let me know what you're, the verse is? You're you're using your own yeah. Yeah. So just read that, that and then you're gonna. You want you're me to read it again? Oh, just, so you just, just want me three. to read one? No, 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 no. Whatever you're addressing. Okay. And whatever you're addressing. And this is life eternal that I might know thee, the only true God. Okay, stop that. And you can explain that. Yeah, you can explain. What's wrong with that? When he says, this is eternal life that they may know you. The only true God. Who is the you here? Yeah, he's speaking to the Father. Okay, so according to Jesus, who is the only true God? He's saying that the Father is the only true God. Do you, do you, line, yeah? do you believe that? I believe that Yahweh, my Father in heaven. No, the word Yahweh wasn't the there. The, word, the term Yahweh wasn't there. So, who is, who is yeah. the only true God according to Jesus Christ there? Yeah, the Father. He's recognized that. Okay. He could recognize many okay. so other. So now Jesus has, confirmed, wait, so Jesus has confirmed that the only true God is the Father. Do you. Do you Agree with Jesus' statement. That he's the uh, one yeah. true God. I think you already know what I believe. Yeah? I don't. Believe in the Sorry, I don't. I, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. So you believe so in the believe Trinity. Trinity? How do we explain that? Out. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. No, 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 no. She, she, look, you're allowed to uh, yeah. give us details. Know, That's fair. Okay. That's fair. Look, I want to know. I just want to. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I want to know because you believe in the Trinity, which you have said many times. Yes. Jesus, his message is. A Unitarian God, not a Trinitarian God. No, okay, listen. Wait, let me finish. No, let me finish. Quite, let me finish. If you, you can correct me. No, I, wrong. I want to. Listen, you, you can correct me after I finish, but at least listen, let me finish. Hashim, the statement. come on, Hashim, come on. Like, if you're going to read out oh, chapter yeah. 17, verse 3, and you're not going to read out. I didn't say I'm not going to read. I said, let's read it one at a time. Five and six, then you're just giving a little line, aren't you? Over, over Did I say I'm not going to read them? Did I say I'm not going to read them? I said, let's read it one at a time. Now, you need to understand that you are a Trinitarian. Jesus over there says there is a one Unitarian God who is a true God. Now, should I believe Jesus or should I believe you? Believe Jesus. And Good. Read so Jesus, Jesus, not Jesus is not saying no. No, I will let you. I will let you finish the rest of the That's statement. But we we need to understand that Jesus is saying there is a Unitarian God, not a Trinitarian God who is a one true God. And this Unitarian God is the Father only. In the Trinity, we have three persons, not just the Father. That's what you believe. Yeah? But why? Where'd you get so how many persons are there in the because Trinity? Because when you look through scripture, you see that Jesus had the attributes of God, claims of the attributes of God. I can talk to one person at a time if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, but let's have okay. one discussion. So, in, according to you, in the Trinity, how many persons are there? There's three persons. Exactly. Person, yeah. So, in the Godhead, there are three persons. That means, what you consider as the true God, there are three persons. What Jesus considers as the only true God, there's only one person. Do you see the discrepancy there? 
Jesus never, you're, you're putting words in Jesus' mouth by refusing to read around what he's actually said. Okay, so show so, me where he says there are three persons. Okay, so when Jesus is speaking to Father, this is the quote that he's okay. given, right? Then I'll start from the beginning for one. These words spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come, glorify thy son, that thy, thy son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to thee. This is life eternal, that they might know thee and the only true God, and this is where it's been answered. I have glorified thee on the air, I have finished yeah, the work. And now, O oh Father, glorify me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. So Jesus is speaking to the Father there, and Jesus is speaking, saying that he had a glory with God before the world. No, 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 no. And he's asking for God to glorify him, the same way that he has glorified the Father, and he's saying, please glorify the Son. God doesn't give his glory but he doesn't, to anyone. Does he? You but don't does seem he? to understand that this relationship what, what between Jesus and the Father is completely unique. Can I ask it's a separate you know, thing. thing from you know, one, one, one thing, I, this is the second time you have done it. You have only focused on the glory of, of that's, Jesus. That's why he didn't glorify in the wait, same wait, way in the same verse. Now, now wait. You completely missed out the one true God that Jesus has actually given the message of. I know why you want to evade that because it doesn't fit into your Trinitarian doctrine. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Listen, your your be, message. I'm going for two, right? I'm I'm. Always going to believe what I believe. Of course, and you I, are. I, and you're going to know Jesus. You're not questioning him. I pray, I pray it that like my you Father in heaven reveals to you the truth of Jesus' is. message. Yeah. You don't want to agree and with. I pray that you my Father to... in heaven reveals to you what He has done for you. I'm glad you said only the and Father I'm in heaven pray. will reveal, yeah, because this shows heaven, us that given us subliminally she wants to acknowledge that the only true God, yeah, Jesus, Jesus, is saying, is the Father only. We speak to the Father, which shows us that the message of Jesus is clear cut. Hi, yeah. I'm just here to say I'm going for my dinner. On camera, I'm you're really all yeah, only because you always have a last sight machine. Can I ask one thing before you go, sister? <laughs> one thing, please. Can I ask one thing? You said that Jesus, in that verse, glorify me the way he's glorified you, yeah? Yeah. So it should be equal, am I correct in this, in the glorification? Yeah, they have an equal glory, okay. yeah. I mean, Just we, there, we, no, in that verse, in this very same verse that they're supposed to be glorifying each other in the same way, Jesus can't glorify himself because he said the one true God is the Father, right? Yes. The one, just, just to clarify, yeah, sorry. The one true, he glorifies God, yes. yeah, by saying that God is the one true God. Yes? Yes or no? That's yes, a glorification, yes, yes. yeah? Vice versa, we don't see any kind of glorification throughout the Bible yeah, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, let me just clarify, yeah? Throughout the Bible, we don't see God the Father ever glorifying Jesus ah. in the same manner that you are the yes, one true God. Okay, so when it says okay, that, uh, when it says uh, that yeah, every ahead. knee will bow and every tongue confess Jesus is Lord Who said that? Yes. to the glory, it, Who says, said that? it says to Who the said glory, that? That Jesus. to the glory of Paul. God the Father, it doesn't matter, Who to the matter? glory of God, <laughs> this is all faith, this Sorry, is what the, we believe. The message when of Jesus together, yeah. is more important so, than so, the no, Paul, was it not Jesus? It will be to God's glory, it will glorify God that every Every knee is bowing and yeah. every tongue confesses But Jesus, Jesus never did that. God would, oh, not, no. Sorry. God would not have everyone bow to a mere I know, I know. human Can I being clarify? and confess Can them I, as the Lord. And it so. certainly yeah, would not be glory to God. Yeah. It would not glorify God if so, someone so, was so, to Sister, do that. my question, I think I, I, you misunderstood. I meant that Jesus called God the Father, the one true God. And yeah. in vice versa, in the so-called uh, equal glorification, I said Jesus nowhere throughout the Bible has caught... Sorry, sister. Oh, are you busy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Just last one. Just last one, sister. The fact that God the Father has never glorified Jesus by calling him the one true God. Now, when you stated he had, I believe, Hashim, you stated that it what wasn't actually Jesus' words. No, no. Not only, not only that is not Jesus' okay. word. What I'm saying well, is that listen, even for the... Uh, that's my, fine. You have to... You thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be yes. praying for all you guys. Make sure you pray to the God of Jesus. Yes. I'm going to pray The one true God, the Father. Thank you very much. Now, what I'm saying is this. If Jesus is even... Even let's say... Let's, let's say that Paul said, every knee shall bow. Yes, to whom? To Jesus. Yeah. But this Jesus himself is saying that the true God of his is the Father. But Jesus never stated that part that she was stating. Who was it? Yeah, it was not Jesus' word. This is the word of Paul. Paul has never seen Jesus in his life, at least not in flesh. He might have seen him in his dream or whatever it is in a vision, which is again a dream. But the important thing is that, let's say for the argument's sake, we believe what the Christians are saying. That is, Jesus is a God. If he is a God, should we move back a bit, guys? Yeah, yeah. If, if he's saying Jesus is yeah. a God, then the important thing is this. This God himself is worshipping a higher God. And that is his Father. Who he says is the true God. So ultimately there is one supreme God and that is the God of Jesus, which is the Father, which is called Allah in Aramaic, the language of Jesus. 
which we call Allah. So Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's time for Maghrib. Let's go guys.